Tax revenue collections have slowed despite substantial increases announced during the budget speech earlier in the year. Massive job losses and subdued growth in key sectors such as retail, telecommunications and the financial services industry have contributed to the shortfall. While the largest revenue shortfall was recorded in customs duties, more shortfalls came from personal income tax, value-added tax and corporate income tax. But capital gains tax bucked the trend, adding 5.4 billion rand to the fiscus. We will continue to explore options available to us to stretch the rands in our care, to address the challenges faced by the majority of the South African people, particularly unemployment, poverty and inequality, and the myriad social problems which emanate from this, it is tough, but we must rise to the occasion. Government is grappling with the challenge of mounting debt service costs following a sovereign downgrade by ratings agency Standard & Poor's and & Fitch. South Africa's rising debt as a ratio to GDP has been revised up to 54.2% from 52.3%. is projected to reach 60% by 2022. Government expenditure on debt is expected to increase at 11% for the next three years. The national debt will cost government over 163 billion rand this year, rising to 223.4 billion rand in 2020-21. The credit uh, down rating is also not doing us justice. Whilst I also am not a firm believer in us going for international borrowings because, again, you just end up in this vicious cycle of always paying uh, the interest which is just growing and growing. I mean, our cost of borrowing really is one of the negative things that are impacting us, especially during these uh, difficult times. Treasury will need to cut spending or hike taxes by 0.8% of GDP to stabilize the nation's debt at below 60%. The budget deficit for the 2017-18 financial year is forecast to widen to 4.3% of GDP compared to 3.1% in 2017. This means as people, we're spending more than we make. Balentlin Tetwa, SABC News, Parliament.